If you live in southern Alberta, you know the wind can change in a minute. We've been blessed this spring with some beautiful weather, but today it all changed and we're dealing with some crazy winds. On today's video guys, we're bait fishing in the wind. I'm going to show you guys a few things. Um, it's it's going to be a challenge. It's like 75k gusts, like 55k steady. Um, but we're going to try to get the job done, see if we can put some good fish on, on the shore there. And uh, I'll see you guys when we're hooked up. Oh, it's a surgeon. We are hooked up. Guys, I uh, can't really fight the fish and hook it on screen because the wind is like 75k an hour. So, I got my back to it so you guys can hear me. And uh, I'm hooked up on a sturgeon. Key thing is keeping my rod low to feel bites. That is not a sturgeon, I don't think. Unless it just doesn't know it's hooked yet. I think it's just a sucker. Oh no, that's a sturgeon. The biggest thing, like I say, is just keeping my rod low so I can feel the bites. The uh, wind is just not giving up. Um, you can hardly even see fish surface, but if you know where they're at, it makes it a little easier. The other important thing is dressing up. Guys, I got like four layers on just to keep warm. I know some guys like windbreakers. I'm not a big windbreaker guy. I find they're bulky. When you gotta grab a fish, it makes it really hard. I can't tell how big this fish is at all. But it's fighting good anyways. It feels like a good fish. I hope the footage is working out all right. This is ugly, man. It feels heavy. I wish I could give you guys a better view of what's going on here. This wind is atrocious. If I turn my back, my mic is right in it. Look at this. Just blowing. I'll keep my head this way for your guys' sake. Keep the mic out of it. And we're going to battle this fish. It's going to take a little longer, I think, because it's. Uh, I can only fight it one way. That makes sense for you guys. And uh, another way that makes more sense for me, but we're going to do what makes sense for you guys. This is a strong fish. I don't care what anybody says. Nobody. The nice thing is, is I can just put constant side pressure on them. Because I got to face you guys. How's my rod tip look? Ooh. The funny thing is it ran upstream, which typically means big fish, but I'm not making any assumptions here. This is wild. These winds are strong. You know, like, I'm sitting at work and it's beautiful out. And in typical Southern Alberta fashion, two, three o'clock hits and it's disgusting. Oh, that is a great fish. I didn't even know it was this close. Oh, really dark fish guys, really dark fish. Very cool. The water is so uh, turned up from the wind, I can't even hardly tell what's going on. Not to mention I was fighting him the opposite way he was coming. That's okay. Super windy day and making it pay off. It's hard to, hard to even feel the bites with my rod down low, but we're getting it done. We're hooked up and got a couple suckers, but this sturgeon's feeling a lot better. We got a cute little beagle coming our way.
It looked to be like maybe like a mid 50s, maybe low 50s, but real dark. Look at this guy. How's it going? <laughs> I got a good one, yeah. <laughs> How are you doing, buddy? How are you doing? Hi. Hi. We got a big fish on. We got a big fish on. <laughs> Oh man, the wind is pushing me over. My little buddy there, the beagle, gave me some extra energy in this wind. Another thing I find in the wind that is absolutely huge for me, I don't know about you guys, I get earaches like crazy. And uh, wearing a buff is definitely key. There he is. Turn them back this way if I can. Pull my sleeve up. Try to crank on him and break his will. Will the fight. He wants to keep trying to go upstream, which is nice. Good, healthy fish. I can kind of see a tail there. Yeah, that's a good fish. Got him turned. Got him turned. Come on, big guy. He's been feeding over in the clay. He's got a yellow mouth. He's got the old orange mouth. Here we go. There we go. Look at that guy. He's super dark. Super dark. Very cool fish, guys. Very cool fish. <laughs> Lots of spunk left in him. Check that one out, guys. How about that fish? Nice and dark. He's actually maybe mid 40s but uh, absolutely stunner of a fish. We are hooked up. Let's make them jump. That's a sturgeon. That's a big sturgeon. That's a big. Oh, yeah. Big old jump. Big old jump. Big old fish on, guys. Big old fish on. See if we can make them jump one more time. That wind is howling. But you know, the fish don't stop biting because it's windy. But we tend to stop going fishing because it's windy and we gotta stop that. Guys, dress nice. Keep that rod low. Get some scent on your hook. That's one thing I wanna talk about, guys, is you might be using bait. Add some scent. There's so many scents out there. Add some scent to your hook. It really helps when that water's murked up because of the wind. There's lots of smells going on down there for them fish to find. So it's up to you to give them something different, you know. Give them something that's really going to set your, your bait apart. Maybe some noise. But uh, definitely get some scent in there. I guess it would depend what kind of fish you're after if you want to put some noise in there. But, uh, I mean, I'm not, a, 
I'm not opposed to noise ever. I guess maybe some suckers might not like it, but this is a good fish. When he jumped there, he was a tank. I uh, was horsing him hard to get him to jump, so that was cool. But he is in that current now, and that's gonna make this battle harder than it needs to be. And like I say, always side pressure, guys. See this rod just cranked over, side pressure. I'm trying to break the fish's will. He wants to go up, I want him to turn around and come down. He can pull and go up, my drag's set, right? You gotta set your drag right. But side pressure, break that fish's will. You don't wanna lose a battle to a fish like this because you fought him for too long. The longer that fish is on, the easier it is for him to come off. This is sick. Look at that view, we're in Jurassic Park. This fish is straight upstream. Wow. I'm gonna back up a little bit. Actually, I can't, because I don't walk out of the screen. So we'll let him go up. We got lots of line for this, lots of line for this. I know when I gotta start chasing. I keep two colors of braid on my line. One is to, uh, like, look at this fish, upstream non-stop. This is insane, look at that. But I keep two colors of braid on my reel, that way I can tell when it's time to go get them, and when it's time to just kind of keep trying to put the boots to them, you know? Like, you can let these fish run, like, they are big, strong fish. Basically, I call it a prairie shark because it's a shark without teeth. But uh, see, his will's getting tired. He doesn't want to go higher. He does want to go higher. We might be going to chase this one, guys. The battle is on. This is a giant. Um, I'm gonna work to get my tape measure here, guys. It's just in my box behind my GoPro. I'm gonna get that set, I think, because this this is a big one. He's, a, he's on the other side of the river and on the other side of the current, um, which poses a big problem for me. I'm getting into the furthest a fish has taken me this year, just about. Let's break him. Let's break him. We're bringing him back. Cranking the drag and pulling. Pump. Grandpa told me 10 and two. I do 10 and two sideways now, Grandpa. Side pressure and turn that fish. And make that ground because he's giving me a chance. As Clayton always says, Clayton Schick. One of the greatest YouTube channels out there. When it's your turn, you need to give it to them. He's usually talking Lakers, I'm talking Sturgeon. And when it's your turn, it's your turn. Because they're not gonna give you a million. So when you get one, take it. Never give them slack. I come forward real slow, guys, because I don't ever wanna give them slack just reel like crazy these pen reels are absolutely incredible drag system i am absolutely not affiliated with them or anyone but i will tell you guys what's good what works for me and that's these pen reels they're meant for salt water but guys there's nothing that handles a fish like these and this fish needs to be handled so let's get him. As soon as he seen that shallow water, he wasn't about it, right? And he's seeing it again, again now, so. But he's coming towards me a bit. If I can't get my tape measured, guys, I ain't measuring this fish because I don't waste time with these guys. 
These are protected fish, guys. They're protected for a reason. You got to take care of them. I went for my tape measure there, and it's so windy it blew the lid right off my Rubbermaid. So that's not awesome at all. This fish got another life in it. This is harder than it needs to be right now. We're good. Oh. Back to the fight. Fish is running again. Incredible. Get that rod sideways. Break that well. And I'm really pulling on him, guys. Like, if you could see this rod, this Abu Garcia bruiser is just doubled right now. That fish was close. Not quite close enough. And he's dogging hard right now in that current. And I gotta break him. I gotta break his will. Pull on him hard. Oh, I didn't like the feeling of that. Something just felt like it come loose a bit. But we're making ground. He's heavy. He is absolutely heavy. Nothing better than this after a hard day's work. Frustrating days work. Man, big fish. I love them. Nothing better. This is too much fun. And he's coming to me. He took that run, but he's coming to me. Is that vlogger John? Is that John? Hey, brother! We got John Regis, vlogger John coming on. This is my brother, this guy is a good man. And he's gonna come here, and I'm gonna land this tank hopefully, and shake my good buddy's hand, because he is the man. Well, this is a cool way to see my buddy, is when I hook into a good one. I like that. John, I got a good one, buddy. Yep. How are you doing, brother? It's good to see you. Yeah, he's a strong fish. I'll grab him. I can grab him, buddy. Right on. He's back in the current and he is going. The longer the fight goes, the more worried I get about losing them. Yeah. I didn't take them up yesterday for me. Yeah? Yeah. I usually don't put a lot of drag with the guy next to me. Yeah. But uh, you have to put a little bit more drag. So I put a little bit more drag and he's just gone. Yeah. He's, he's heavy. Yeah, a big one, eh? Yeah. Yeah, this is, a, this is a good one too here. I've had him, I've had him close twice and... He gets in that shallow water and he hates yeah. it. Yeah, hey, I, I got it from here anyway, so. Yeah. We went downstairs to the that end. Yeah. Yeah, the current, the current seems important. It's very you important. Do yeah. You do? Yeah, oh yeah. Do you go that way? Yeah, oh yeah. The current seam is very important. In the daytime, yeah. they're up in the current because it's nice and cool water. Yeah. Lots of food there. Yeah. In the daytime, they drop back, I find. And this guy was right up there where I seen one surface, so I cast it over there and he's a good fish. 
Nice and wide. He's thick. He's over 50 pounds for sure. I think he's close to 60 inches. Where's the stuff? Oh, your camera's Yep, my camera's going there. My, my uh, tape measure's laid out. I'm ready to rock. Ready to rock, brother. How are you doing, man? Not too bad. You're getting a couple suckers, I see. Oh, right on, man. Good. Hey, they're all fun. My favorite ones are the really, really little ones. They're so cool, dude. They got the birthmarks on them and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. If you don't bounce back right away, you'll never will, right? Last year I did not even come one day here. No? I was all out outside. Yeah. I think I broke his will here. I think we'll get him here. Got it? Oh yeah, I'll pass you my rod once I grab him. Nice. Thank you, John. I appreciate it. Couldn't have showed up at a better time, buddy. That's a beauty fish. Wow. Really strong. <laughs> That's a thick one. Real quick, I don't think he's actually that big. Right there. 57 or so. Right on. That's a really fat one. Ooh, yeah, I think I'm gonna, can you just reach in there and grab my phone? It's in there somewhere. And we'll get a quick picture of him and we'll get him right back. That's an absolute tank. Wow. John, give me some knuckles. Yeah, dude, yeah, dude, that was sick. <laughs>